Tana has a fat ass. <laughs> Me. Oh my god, let's get, do I mix it? Do you mix potatoes? That's hot on the bottom. Hello beautiful people, it's Jamie. Welcome back to my channel. and Welcome back to Vlogmas Day 8. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Or the windows in the rain is pouring It will always be Christmas in my heart Held up five fingers then because I literally there is no there you go eight a very quick eight there was no way that I could um, hold up eight fingers so today vlogmas day eight we are hosting our first Christmas dinner in the apartment of 2021 ever this is the first time that we are proper properly like having guests over for like a full-on dinner, games evening, a few drinks. It's really going to be the most festive, jolly evening. We've got games, we've got food, we've got nibbles and chocolates, we're gonna have music. Basically, we've tried to go a little bit all out and crazy because it's Christmas and obviously last year we didn't really get to have a lot of those really social occasions with families and friends and loved ones so this year we thought you know we'd we'd treat everyone we'd treat ourselves and obviously we have so much fun doing it and making it and obviously since we've moved to london this is what we've dreamed about like hosting people in our apartment and obviously we bought so much over the december period to like share and to give so today is the day and then obviously we've got my family's one next weekend which obviously i will vlog for you guys but today is liam's family so we're in a bit of a rush this morning um, we have left the house bright and early, literally, literally done my skincare, chucked on a really cosy outfit. My arm's getting really tired, so I'm going to put you down there. Um, and we are heading to a retail park near us because we need to go and grab some final little bits. And we also need to do some food, uh, food shopping. We need to do some Christmas present shopping just whilst we are over there because... You know, if we're driving 15, 20 minutes down the road, we may as well do a little bit of Christmas shopping and obviously get the bits that we need to. So I think I've got the most really random list ever. I need to get things like toothpaste, fairy liquid, lip balm, green bows for presents. Uh, we need to get some chocolate for Liam's granddad. Um, we need to get broccoli. We need to get, what else do I have on my list? Um, we need to get Rupert a present as well. So we need to get really random bits like broccoli and toothpaste. Um, so I'm hoping that we'll be able to find everything today. But if not, um, you know, we've still got tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going home for my mum's birthday. So I might pop to B&M, which is very, very exciting um, because I haven't been to a b and in literally forever. Everything is going to be very much in a rush. We need to go home after we've been to the shops and we need to clean the house. I need to upload Vlogmas Day six vlogmas day six yeah vlogmas day six um and then we obviously need to prepare because obviously we're doing the whole turkey uh potatoes we love to do a lot of our components from scratch we've got the stuffing from scratch and potatoes liam makes a, a mean potato they are insane um are we gonna try a new way today or are you gonna go for your classic way i might go for classic Ooh, oh i can't wait obviously i'll show you guys oh, oh, how we make them we're gonna do that new way that i saw in tape yeah that, that new Christmas way tree yeah oh we got sticks. sticks oh no it's fine that's a sign to be like yeah yeah i did it that way it's all right, we, we, the classic way is a really good way. We are now going to pop to the shops and obviously I will update you when we get there. So guys, we are starting off in HomeSense and we're just looking for a few Christmas gifts because they have such a good little Christmas gift range. Um, we were just saying how much we loved, oh, my basket's flying away with me, um, how much we loved this recyclable uh, Christmas wrapping. How gorgeous with the browns and the blacks. Absolutely love those. But I feel like you don't you don't get enough, which is a little bit annoying. But to be fair, for seven pounds, you get a really nice variety. So we really liked that. Look at this little Christmas tree. Oh my God. I love, I love that. Gold How adorable. Oh my God, they're all pets toys. Oh, look at the little ice skating, ice skating boots. Oh, how lovely. I actually bought Bella's Secret Santa yesterday. Um, so I feel like I'm all prepared. To be fair, I feel like Bella's so old now that if I was to give her like a little Christmas toy, she wouldn't really play with it. So what are catnip toys? 
you know what catnip is? No. It's already in there. Oh, Obviously okay. we can't smell it, but they can smell it. Oh, interesting. And it makes them go crazy for it. And then they like to chase it, play with it. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Do you like this one? Or I was thinking this one. I do like that one, but it is very festive. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Look at the little Christmas tree. In. That's cute. I like that one. Or I was thinking. They have a few options then. Or this one. Oh, it says naughty on it. I think I like the oh, one you're one. holding. Oh, see, this is very Christmas. Isn't yeah, it? no, not that one. I quite like the one you're holding. Oh, really? And also, um, we saw this. So we saw this the last time we came in here, and we absolutely love the colour. Oh, it's only 50 in. quid. We've got a voucher. The only thing is, I'm just worried it's a bit too big. I oh, think it's nice. just a bit too big for the space. Yeah, but you know what though? Well, Once we move the Christmas tree, we'll have a nice giant space to put something like this on there. So in the yeah, evenings, yeah. I'll have a think. Okay. Maybe we can come back to it after Christmas. We might not be there after. <laughs> but we are looking for like a footstool slash like buffet. Oh, how nice is this candle? Look how big that is. 50 quid. Oh, Meg would love that. If only that wasn't red, that'd be lovely. <laughs> Imagine, one thousand pounds. It's a gorgeous, like compass. Nine nine nine. Nine nine nine. Point nine nine. Gorgeous glass cabinet. How stunning, Megan. Imagine if I bought this over to your house. I also love, love the brown leather, like sofas, the little armchairs. Oh, I love that as well. I love their little home display bits. I love this. How gorgeous is that colour? And we really like these little green armchairs as well. Oh, guys, I cannot wait to have a house because then, like, we can decorate it and you can have each room, like, a different colour vibe because I really want a room. Like, how gorgeous would, like, a study be in this gorgeous, like, burnt orange colour? And they've got little throws as well. Oh, <laughs> stop it. Is that a dog toy? Yeah, it's a dog toy. It literally is. Booty. Is it? Yeah. No, surely not. What, what do you think they're going to do with it in this position? Oh, my God, stop it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was thinking, what? Well, and then I was like, what about this instead? No, you've already got them something like that. I, I like the thing you've already got. That is hilarious. What on earth? Maybe like that. Santa has a fat ass. <laughs> Liam's just spotted these. So you can get little coffee syrups, Christmas cookie, salted caramel mocha, and peppermint bark. I bet that's delicious. And also these little gift sets. So you can get one that's got like Nutella, cuddle with a cup of chocolate. Or this one, when in doubt, have some chocolate and then it's got some Toblerone and a little hot drink mix. How nice are these with the little bows? So I've started to drink a little bit more loose teas and herbal teas and I found these which are so cute. Liam spotted one a few aisles back and they've got so many different designs. So this one's got a little, um, is that a cat? A mouse? No, I think it's a cat on it. And then this is a little sloth which is so cute. And then this is a little chicken. I don't know, but they're really sweet. Um, so I think I might pick one of those up just so when I'm drinking my herbal teas and loose leaf teas, um, obviously all the bits don't come and fly into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> my mum's birthday tomorrow and I completely forgot that I haven't bought her a birthday card and I've just come into TK Maxx and I've seen this one which literally says happy birthday to you in the song and it's got a cartoon picture of Covid in a face mask and literally that is how my mum has been for the last two years so <laughs> because I say that out of love I think I'm gonna get her this birthday card she might be like Jamie no but I just thought that was so much fun. I mean, you've got to laugh about it, you do, don't you? Um, but they've got so many fun little cards. I really like them. Look at this one. Yappy birthday, son. Oh, look at the little doggies. This is fun as well. Let's just pretend this was on time. We have just got back from shopping and it was a huge success. We managed to get everything that we needed. Uh, we got some Christmas presents, we got some bits for tonight and obviously we got some more bits as well, which is always good. I always love when I go out to the shops and I actually managed to find and get everything that I went out for. Um, and obviously we got more stuff because you can't pop into HomeSense, TK Maxx and Aldi without buying more things. I have uploaded my YouTube video, Vlogmas Day 6, which is going live tonight, which is very exciting. So I hope everyone likes that because, not gonna lie, that's probably 
one of my favourite Vlogmas videos so far because it's got a lot of ama amazing people in it and um, it was Winter Wonderland which was just such an amazing evening and just so festive and so much laughter and so many screams as well. So if you did watch that vlog then um, thank you because I could barely edit it without being like oh my god Jamie stop screaming but obviously in the moment it was so much fun. We have quickly just done a blitz of the house so we've hoovered um we've washed up we've just sorted out everything so that um everything is kind of like in order for when people come over and obviously we're going to start cooking very very shortly because obviously we need a couple of hours to prep everything to make sure that we know the exact timings for things because we have done roast dinners before but because we're doing like a big christmas dinner this time which is catering for more than two people we're catering for five six Six. Leon's just counting. Six people. We're, ca we're, we're cooking for six people tonight and we're cooking more elements than we normally would. So obviously we need to make sure that we have like a game plan going into this and that it cooks in time for when people arrive and stuff. This is kind of like how the the main area is looking at the moment. So I have moved the dining room uh, the dining room chairs. I'm gonna start on this in a minute. This is gonna be our kind of like snack area. This is gonna be where um, all of like the sauces after the roast dinner and just like the, the nibbly table. I might put some games out here. We bought matchmaker minis in orange. I've got the mint ones for my family, um, but obviously Liam's family prefer the orange ones. So we're gonna put these in this little bowl because these were our old heroes but obviously heroes yeah go on then perfect oh you can tell these are the worst heroes. literally actually do you know what though no, there's some really like good double perfect and um lucy had some of the double deckers the other day as well when? we've literally got like a mixture of all the chocolate that we, we haven't have the rest of managed to eat uh holly brought them over they were underneath all the the eclairs the eclairs that nobody likes um, so yeah, we're gonna put the matchmakers in here so that people can just kind of like take and grab. So I also want to put out the crackers. Oh my god. So the crackers are down here. And these are our recyclable crackers that are also from Aldi actually. Um, they're a pack of 12 family crackers and the contents inside and the entire like cracker set is all 100% uh, plastic free, which is very, very good and then we can just recycle them after. So we're gonna use some tonight and then some when my family come over next week and they just say joy to the world on them. So I need to get those out as well. Um, but yeah, this is our little seating formation. We literally just have a one bed apartment. So this is like the main area where we're gonna be eating. Um, I was gonna say sleeping then, but we're not gonna be sleeping in here. Um, eating and obviously mingling and socializing. So I've put the chairs out. I've put the coffee tables out so people can pop their drinks on there. The candle is lit. Uh, this is this is a really cute. So I've got some headbands that people can wear tonight if they're feeling festive, I might do. Um, and then we've just got their Christmas cards, which we're gonna give them this evening. And I bought these from Home Bargains a little while ago. They are festive eight mini Santa hats and they're gold. They're literally gonna get glitter absolutely everywhere. Ooh. Are we going for a more twinkling vibe this evening? It'll change though, won't it? Yeah. Go to that. <laughs> Rave. Yeah, let's go for it. We haven't changed them like this that often, actually, have we? I don't get it, because it sparkles, and then it goes to that, and then it will start going really, really crazy. crazy. Yeah, we haven't had them, like, actually move that much. We normally just have them on still. Yeah. But it looks lovely. We're deciding what to do with all the lighting. We don't know whether to go, like, really bright lighting, or whether to go for, like, more moodier lighting. Know. Yeah. I think this is more like cozy. We could always turn it on when we're eating, but the rest of the evening we can have it like this. Because we've got like the fire, the lights. We're gonna play around with it. We've got a couple of hours. Ready. Yeah, let's get the games ready. We've got a couple of hours till people come. So um, we've, got, we've got some time. I actually need to refresh the batteries. So we put really old batteries. So for most of the vlogmas, this hasn't actually worked. So I've got batteries that I need to put in this so that that provides more light. It's a bit more twinkling fun. Um, I need to take the Santa hats out for people to wear. And obviously, look at all the presents. Um, we're not actually doing presents because we are spending Christmas day at Liam's parents' house. So obviously we're not gonna be doing presents 
or giving them anything today, just the cards, just the cards. So yeah, I want to get started with this little area. I need to clean it up, sort it out. I think I might have to do some moving. I don't know what we're doing about tables um, because I think Liam's parents are bringing round like an extendable uh, small table to put in the center there. And then obviously um, we can all eat from it or some of us can eat from it because obviously we don't have space for a dining table. So all we have is this. For the guy. <laughs> oh, we got what, an Uno. What do you mean an Uno? That's brilliant. How many games we have? That's fine. And then obviously your sister's bringing round Uno. That's really good. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's pop them there. And then those will go on here. So let's uh, sort this out. So batteries are now in the wreath and it's finally glowing genuinely. The batteries died on like Vlogmas day two. So I'm so happy that the wreath is now up and it's glowing. Liam is starting dinner. I can't wait to share with you guys what we're gonna have and what we're gonna eat. And this is our little table. I don't know if we're gonna keep it there or whether we're gonna move it a bit more central. Um, but obviously we'll see how the evening goes. But we've got our little glittery hats. We've got the crackers. So we've taken six out because obviously there's gonna be six of us this evening. And then we've got a few little snacks. We decided to keep the chocolate in the fridge just until the last minute because obviously we don't want them to melt. Um, we've got our mint sauce because you can't have a roast dinner without mint sauce, cranberry sauce. And then the most delicious, Jacob's Treeslet. We're getting a little bit worried that we haven't actually bought enough food because obviously, like I said, we've never hosted for six people before. So we've got our fingers crossed. We've also got our games by the candle and we have moved our little this house sparkles from within sign just there which is absolutely perfect and yeah we are all set up and ready to go liam is in the kitchen getting everything prepared so we've got our little small roasting trays ready to start putting our tatties on stuffing i'm so glad we bought these and obviously they're oven safe um we're gonna have some carrots, sorry babe. We've got gravy and we've got stuffing. And this is the turkey that we're using. So for my family next week, I've got a, like a stuffed turkey, which I'll share with you just in a moment. But this is the one we're doing for Liam's family because they don't like stuffing. So we've got a turkey breast joint uh, basted. So it's covered in all the nice juices and it's hopefully gonna be really, really delicious. So that takes about, an hour to an hour and a half so that is just chilling in the oven and should be ready in about an hour and an hour and a half so it's going to be a very very long time but yeah, hopefully it should look like this and it was only like four pounds i was very very impressed very impressed with aldi let me show you the um let me show you the one that i've got for my family because it does look very very good let me know in the comments what your favorite part of like a christmas dinner is mine's either stuffing or pigs and blankets but we didn't get any pigs and blankets we were like we'll save those till the christmas day um so this is the one that i got my family so it's literally the exact same but on the inside it's got stuffing oh my god and look it's wrapped in bacon does that or does that not look absolutely delicious so i'm very excited to try that this week but obviously this is the one that we are using tonight we've got to protect you off it's not a protector oh okay oh my god why is this so hard Oh, I had it the wrong way. <laughs> the potatoes are all, I was gonna say trimmed. What's the word? They're all skinned. Yeah, the potatoes are all skinned and they're currently boiling away. Oh my God, I'm kind of a bit nervous, but I'm excited to like put it all together. We've just checked the broccoli stuffing and the, well, to be checked, the Brussels sprouts, the Brussels sprouts. Guys, I'm gonna move away from the kitchen because it is very, very loud with like the, the fan, the convection fan that we have above the oven. They're literally gonna take about five, 10 minutes. So we're gonna do those at the very last minute. Um, the thing that we're focusing on right now is obviously the turkey's in the oven, the potatoes are boiling, and now I'm gonna move on to the stuffing, which is one of my favorite parts. I say that a lot of a roast dinner. It's my favorite part. I'm like, oh my God, pigs and blankets. Oh my God, gravy. Oh my God, mint sauce. Oh my God, potatoes. I love it all. A roast dinner is genuinely one of those. It's such a British thing, I feel. I feel like a carvery, a roast dinner, a Christmas dinner is such a British thing, but genuinely it's such a treat. 
we don't cook them very regularly at all so when we do it's like oh it feels like Christmas it's like a cozy day so today genuinely feels like I'm getting ready for Christmas and obviously like learning now at 22 in our own apartment it just prepares us for when we have kids in, the, in later in life and we have like a kitchen island Liam's face is like kids no thank you um I'm like yes yes please maybe like a dog kid a cat kid who knows who knows what 2022 will bring let me know in the comments whether you are a yay fan to Brussels sprouts or a nay fan I know a lot of people aren't a fan of them but I personally cannot have a roast dinner without Brussels sprouts um so yeah I'm gonna get cracking on now with the stuffing balls um every time sorry babes every time I seem to do them because I've done them a few times before um I just use one of the what is that quid quick so one of the quick so makes 12 stuffing balls little packets sage and onion delicious um i always seem to make them far too big and far too dry so i don't know whether this time i'm going to try and add more water but i'm going to play around with them maybe make smaller balls so it like holds the juices in a little bit more um so i'm now going to start on the stuffing um and then i can get those in the oven and cooking away with the turkey i think it's about to start spilling over but i don't know what to do do you do you mix it Oh my god, oh my god, stop, wait. Oh my god, oh my god, it's getting, do I mix it? Do you mix potatoes? Do you turn it down? Maybe I need to turn it down. But aren't they boiling? Oh my god, what do I do? Uh, oh, oh no. This is when I need Liam. Liam is the, the chef, the baker in the house. I just make everything look really pretty. Oh, there you go. Is that calming down? Maybe I should turn it down because it is all the way up. Oh, I also found this little trick out the other day on TikTok that you can like put your little spatula or spoon in this. That's how it's, it's designed to like hold it so you're not like balancing it. Maybe I should turn it down a little bit. Also, please. Oh, no, I've just turned the other one on. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm t I promise, guys, I'm a lot better than this in the kitchen. Also, please ignore how like streaky everything is. Um, we were going to I mean we did clean it but obviously potatoes turkey it's kind of left a little bit of a mess so after this evening we'll obviously properly deep clean it once we've properly used it for the evening I can't believe I've never filmed from this angle before how nice is this and you've got a little Christmas tree in the background hello Christmas tree oh <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that so my mixing bowl ready potatoes are boiling away I don't know if you can even hear me because I've got the fan on um, but I'm going to start making the, the stuffing. I'm determined to get this right today. I'm determined that it tastes better than it normally does because I don't really tend to have a lot of success with making stuffing. Oh, fudge. I didn't measure it. Uh, I need to measure it. Ah. Okay, uh, 400 millilitres. Wait, is this going to melt the plastic? Hot water melts plastic, doesn't it? And this is a plastic jug. Maybe I shouldn't keep it in there too long then. There we go. That's our, it burnt me. <laughs> oh my God. I am a joke of a human when it comes to actually cooking. I'm actually pretty good when I'm making like a lasagna, a spag bowl, but when it comes to doing something which has so many different components, that's when I get a bit flustered. Add a knob of butter if desired and leave to stand for five minutes. A knob of butter. They could have come up with any word for a little bit of butter and they decided knob. I don't get it though, because why would you call your knob a knob? Knob knob. Unless it looks like a, a knob of butter, but it doesn't. News knob looks square. Or rectangular. I mean, no judgment here. But how much is a knob? Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. See, it's no place to go. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Hey! Look at me. That's hot on the bottom. Yeah, no, let's put that back. How? Okay, this is like genuinely the process of a roast dinner. How grim does this process look? But when it comes all together, it tastes amazing and it looks much better than this. Because look at this. It actually looks like gruel from Oliver Twist. Please, sir, can I have some more? But um, it tastes and it smells amazing. Can you just sprinkle some mixed herbs on the... I don't want to do this two on top. I want to do two on the other one, don't you? Don't be scared of it. Don't be scared, put some more. I'll put some more, just for safekeeping. 
Ah, oh, lovely. The potatoes are now all in the oil and they're in the oven. Oh I'm my god. I'm concerned that they're not going to cook as well because the turkey's on top and it's blocking them. That's only my concern. Is there any way that we can do I, do I just flip move stuff the around? around? Yeah, can you not put the turkey um, horizontal? Uh, vertical. You're right. We need to get oven gloves and squeeze them in. Perfect. There you go, that'll be fine. My stuffing is all cool and I'm now gonna start making my little, my little stuffing balls. Ugh, look at that, it's like I've just touched bread. Ugh, gross. I hate getting my hands dirty. That was a bit of a, a bit of a sticky nightmare. So I managed to get the 12 semi-round stuffing balls. I mean, they don't look like balls at all. They just look like little molehill lumps. <laughs> <laughs> little um, stuffing lumps on the board. Um, I don't have much mixture left, which is really good. Normally I have a lot more, um, but I, yeah, for some reason it's actually worked out in my favour today. So we're going to put these in the oven for about half an hour. Hopefully they don't get really dry and hard. Hopefully they are nice and soft like a stuffing ball should be. I was just saying to Liam that I think for next week, so obviously we've got my family dinner next week, I might, instead of doing stuffing balls, literally just pop the mixture into one of these and do it almost like as a little what did you say it was babe like a little bake like a little tray bake almost and then once it's cooked then i can almost cut it out and have little stuffing squares in you go little suckers Dip it in that bit of tray, in yeah that. in it goes and obviously we can put the the yorkshire's there perfect everything should have about half an hour left um do you think after the hour's up, should I move the turkey to the bottom of the shelf? Yeah, just switch everything around. We'll have a prod at it, because don't you prod turkeys? Well, we ain't got a prod. No, we can use a knife or fork. Yeah, but babe, why would you put a knife in? It's not a cake. <laughs> I don't know. You need to cut it open and see if it's fine. Yeah. We're quite lucky, actually, guys, because when we moved into the apartment, this is like a brand new oven appliance that they gave us. So we actually had a new um, washing machine and dryer and new oven. So. We haven't like obviously had any faults with it or anything. It's actually been very, very good. Actually, that's a lie apart from, but that was my own fault. Um, one day I was working from home and I was trying to make like a grilled cheese. So I had my bread, uh, I was trying to melt the cheese in the grill in the oven and I realised you're not allowed to shut the oven door when you're grilling things. So I had the oven door closed, um, grilling my cheese sandwich and then literally out of these little gaps, smoke was literally billowing, like I was literally sending videos to my mum being like, mum there is smoke billowing out my oven, I don't know what to do. Um, and she was like, well Jamie you've got the bloody oven door closed when you're using the grill. So ever since that moment I've known never to close the door when you Using the grill but that's the only time that I've been like fudge the oven is broken but it obviously wasn't broken it was just me and being incapable of cooking anything in this house <laughs> the rest of the stuff literally is only gonna take us about five ten minutes so we're probably now okay, up now ready or should I just wait until no we'll wait how long does it work Yorkies Yorkies take five minutes Brussels sprouts take five minutes the carrots will take five ten minutes and the broccoli so far it's all going well it's all in the oven which is the main thing we've got everything in the oven now it's just like the waiting, the waiting room. Like we're just waiting for everything to be done and so well. fingers crossed. Yeah, no, we're not manifesting anything to go wrong, babes. I feel good vibes. It's Christmas, only good vibes in this house and always. I need to go get ready because currently this is what I look like. I look like I've just been lazing around all day. And to be fair, I have, I had to take my jumper off earlier because it's getting very warm in here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go get ready. I am now all ready. Um, I've gone for something very chill and casual, but something a little bit formal. So I've just got my Zara balloon pants on, which are super comfortable, but they kind of look like jeans. They're really cool. Um, just a plain white t-shirt and then this really oversized shirt. Who remembers this shirt? from literally back in September, October time in a vlog. I tried to return it and then the store told me that it was passed. The 14 day store return policy. Still to this day, I'm still shocked that the store has a 14 day return policy. I thought everything was a month, but um, do you know what? I'm still so happy that I got to keep it because it looks so cute and I do wear it a lot when I kind of want something, like a nice little layer to chuck on. Liam is getting a little bit stressed. He's already looking gorgeous, but he's in the kitchen currently a little bit stressed, bless him. We're about to check the turkey to see whether it's cooked. I think it is. Um, and also Liam's parents have just arrived, so they're coming up. 
Um, oh my god, it's all going on. The veg is on. The kettle's just boiled. Wait, let me do. Let me do the veg first. Let me do the veg. Okay. It's turkey lurkey time. <laughs> just came home. It's turkey lurkey time. Oh, it's very warm. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, it looks juicy. <gasps> I think that's done. I think that's done. Oh, that looks good. Okay, I'll put it in for a couple more minutes whilst the rest of it cooks. And then it will be good. It's done. In they go. And the evening is finished. I'm so sorry that I didn't vlog um, a lot of the evening. Obviously, um, Liam's family are, I mean, you know, they're not like my family where they're used to me and they're used to the camera. So obviously I didn't really want to be like, hello, here's a camera in your face. Um, so I just tried to keep it a little bit more in the moment and just with us. And it was such a lovely evening it was so wonderful and we had the loveliest time obviously i tried to get a little bit of footage of the roast dinner the food um and then we just spend the evenings playing games catching up it's so nice to have them here we haven't really ever we've been living here in our apartment for six months and this is the first time that we've ever properly number one hosted but two had you know the whole family round for a dinner and to cook them a roast dinner and to have pudding and a games night it was just perfect and it was so festive and just perfect for christmas time and exactly what like we wanted and envisioned for our little london life and london apartment and obviously they loved the tree the decorations um so it was just so so wonderful and now i'm just so excited for my family to come over and live that same evening so the house if you could only see the kitchen um, it's a mess. It's a mess. To be fair, um, the majority of, like, the living space isn't. So, uh, Lima's parents kindly brought over, like, a collapsible table and two additional chairs as well so that we could obviously eat around it. So, this is what we are keeping here for next week for my parents. It was super, super good. Then, obviously, we could play cards on it. They got us, uh, two beautiful cards. So, this one says, to a special son and his partner at Christmas. Boofle classic Denman cards, absolutely love them. They're just so gorgeous. And they also gave us the idea to like stick them up with blue tack or with something along the mirror to make this mirror look a little bit nicer because it is kind of boring and meh. So I'm thinking I've got a little candy cane garland. Maybe I can hang it from there and then stick the, the cards below there. What do you think? I'm thinking that's the vibe. Um, and then they also got us this one from the cat Chris which is just the cutest. So our Christmas card collection is slowly building. To be fair, this area isn't too messy. We also opened the treeslet, which, do you know what? I'm gonna be honest, guys. I'm not a fan. I thought they were more mini, ch mini, mini cheddar-y, but they're not. They weren't giving me life, but maybe that's because I ate them after dinner. Is it embarrassing to show you the kitchen? Yes, but also like it's, it's well eaten. So I'm really not surprised. And actually, to be fair, um, we did do a little bit of washing up um, between courses because we obviously had to use, um, reuse cups, bowls, cutlery and stuff. So actually, this isn't how bad it was straight after dinner. Like, as you can imagine, all of the stuff coming out of the oven, all of the pots and pans, it was literally carnage. And silly, silly us, um, we didn't have enough cutlery to go round. So some of us were using little spoons, some of us were using knives, some of us were just using forks. Forks, but you know what it just adds it just adds to the evening doesn't it It just made it more fun more interesting and typical Christmas because you can never have a Christmas without something going wrong but you know what it was just it was wonderful it was absolutely wonderful and I'm in such a good mood and I cannot wait for Christmas day now and to spend Christmas with them because this will be my first ever Christmas my my first ever full Christmas day not with my family in the 22 years that I've been alive on this beautiful earth um, I have spent 
every single Christmas day with my own family but this year is going to be the first year that I've ever done a full flat out day um, which I'm excited about I mean traditions are there to be made to be, to be changed and um, it's exciting it's very exciting so I need to get cleaning I need to wrap these up do you know what this pavlova has seen better days but I really want to try it so I might I might have a bit of it. I do like I do like meringue. And obviously I need to wrap up the cheesecake. So a little bit later on now, I am all showered and cleaned up. I'm back in my in my cozy little hoodie. Um I wanna try and get an early night tonight. To be fair, it's like eleven o'clock. So I wanna do this next bit really quickly because I just wanna get into bed. I'm in one of those moods now that after such a busy day and such like a social frantic day, I just wanna I want to get into bed and go to bed and go to sleep. I just feel so exhausted. You don't realise how much, like, hosting takes out of you. Because, like, Liam was saying earlier, like, it's so nice. Which sounds really bad, actually, but it's it's all from a good place. It is exhausting work constantly making sure, like, the people that you're catering for are okay. And obviously, I love hosting, but it does sometimes feel like once you stop, it's like, oh, I can relax. It's my mum's birthday tomorrow, her 41st. 41st sounds like a really weird number to say, 41st birthday. So we're obviously going to be going over back to our hometown to celebrate my mum's birthday. I've also got a um, suit fitting uh, for my cousin's birthday, which is happening next year. I really, so it's happening in June and we've got the hen party and the stag party, which I've been inviting to both, which I've been invited to both, sorry, which is very exciting in April. So I'm going to both. Tomorrow I'm going home because I'm like, oh, I haven't, I haven't, have I told you guys? I'm like the man of honour. So you know you get like the traditional maid of honour for the bride. My cousin asked me to be the maid of honour. So I'm in theory like the man of honour. I got asked, I want to say 2020 summer. So genuinely the last two years have absolutely flown by and I cannot believe that she's getting married in six months. And the stag do and the hen do in four. And, you know, we have bought our suits and our dresses. So I am one of three of the bridal party. So you've got her two best friends, my sister, and then me. So the three girls all have their gorgeous matching dresses. And I have my suit. So tomorrow, I, I need to remember this. Um, I need to remember this because I know I'll forget in the morning in the rush of everything. I need to remember to bring the suit that I've bought for obviously walking down the aisle, the wedding. I think I walked down the aisle. I've never done, like, been like a man of honour before, so I don't really know the protocol or how it works. But even so, I'm very excited. Just hoping that tomorrow when we go to the fitting, it all looks really well together and my suit ties into the girls' dresses. So that's the plan tomorrow. Then obviously we're going home for my mum's birthday. I need to quickly wrap my mum's birthday presents. So I haven't gone too extravagant this year. Just with f financially, I'm going to be completely honest, financially, obviously with Christmas, you know, having just moved out, trying to afford everybody's presents whilst kind of having a good time myself, you know, decorating the flat. My parents are very, very like understanding of all that. So I just wanted to get them a few small bits. So I got this card, which obviously you saw earlier in TK Maxx, the COVID one. I think it's absolutely hilarious. So I'll write my mum a lovely little message in there. And I also bought her this book, which is Florence Gibbons, Women Don't Owe You Pretty. So this is the um, bestseller one, but it's the small edition. You can buy the thicker normal book but I thought my mum's not a big reader so I thought this could get her into it and then to match I got her this from Home Sense. She's wanted to try one of these for a while so I thought I'd pick one up and it's in pink so it kind of matches um, and it's a cryo rubber firming collagen face mask. I have um, seen these everywhere. They're one of those like Instagram TikTok hype face masks. Super, super popular. Um, and it's from the brand Dr. Jutt, which I think is an American brand. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments if you've ever used a mask like this. But this one's a little bit different because it has collagen. I'm going to start wrapping now and obviously I'll update you once that is all done. <laughs> I'm back here again. I feel like the entire end part of this vlog I've literally been in my OD just in the corner of the sofa um so I did just move down and I wrapped my presents yay with the help of Liam so these are some cards that I need to take home so I've got my mum and dad's um I've got my brothers and I've got my sister and her partners so I'm gonna give those tomorrow when I pop home and then this is 
mum's present. How lovely is this wrapping paper? So it's like this gorgeous marble, green marble. I picked it up from WH Smith's last year in the January sales. Um, it was going to be my theme this year for Christmas, but of course, um, I should have really known that uh, that was just not Christmassy enough. I mean, it, I love it. And obviously for birthday presents, it's come very much in handy and of use. But as far as like uh, Christmas present wrapping, looking back, I don't know why I bought it as Christmas wrapping. Everything is all ready and done for tomorrow so i'm gonna head out now and uh sign off this video i just want to say a huge thank you guys for watching today's vlogmas and vlogmas day eight if you guys did enjoy it then don't forget to smash up eight yes eight if you guys did enjoy it then don't forget to smash the like button and of course subscribe down below for more jamie dear content and i will see you in a brand new vlogmas episode vlogmas day nine tomorrow bye guys thank you for watching Mwah. Thank you.